Edinburgh CISD offers a variety of career and technical education programs, so today we stopped by the Pharmacy Technician Program to see what they've been working on. We spoke with the teacher and some students to hear about their experience with the program. These students have a major advantage than what you and I did when we were in high school. They're able to obtain a job immediately uh, upon graduation. It is a great stepping stone into pharmacy school, nursing school, or any, any kind of medical career they choose. Ever since I was small, I've always wanted to help people to make a difference, um, whether it's not even helping, at least like interacting with patients, because it is tough for people like going through diseases and stuff like that, and just to be there to brighten up their day, it's what I want to do. I'm still undecided on my career, whether it's a veterinarian or a pediatrician, but I feel like this class is really going to prepare me um, on the route to medical school. This class prepares the kids for college big time, whether it's uh, through memorization skills, conversions, a lot of math calculation, dosaging, uh, they have to know all the pharmacy law. It's a very rigorous course that requires a lot of time and effort on the student's part. I knew coming in here that I would be doing math and dealing with like drugs and calculating how much I would have to um, give patient. I like the idea of being um, in health science. It will definitely help me um, in the future um, in any medical route I decide to choose. One of the things that uh, they are required to do in this class is they have to work on their own time after school and on weekends. You can walk into any Walgreens these days and they have hired a lot of my students. Almost all the technicians that are working at Walgreens right now have gone through this program. I think that's like the funnest part because you get to work with people, the customers, with your coworkers as well. And I like it. Like People can be like fun, teach me more, show me more knowledge of not only knowing the drugs, knowing how to do it, but teaching me how to communicate as well. Stay tuned for us to highlight another program in our next video. Till then, I'm Tom Denton reporting for Edinburgh CISD, your district of choice. February is Career and Technical Education Month at Edinburgh CISD, so we spoke with the instructor and students from the audiovisual class to hear about their experience with the program. So, Marcos, as he's already positioned... Marcos. One of the many reasons I think this class is very important is because everything that we have nowadays is connected through social viewing. The news, the TikToks, Instagrams, everything that we see, the way we communicate, the way we are informed is through video, through audio video, through the audiovisual media, which is what we're teaching. It's for people that want to learn how to communicate an idea using the visual language. We've learned a lot of lighting stuff and like how to do the whole production, like the audio, the editing parts, and we learned how to write a script. I really love the editing part. I love editing videos. So I wanted to learn how to do it even better. So I can do this class because it seemed perfect. I really enjoy working with the team. I love telling my friends about this class and I've actually like recruited some of my friends. So um, yeah, they seem interested in it also. And I just love sharing my passion with people. I've learned uh, like uh, the whole production process, you know, he, he's taught us like how to script, he's taught us uh, like the, the process of recording, lighting, all that, and especially editing. He, we've gotten a couple, we've gotten a couple of projects done and it's, it's just been a great class, it's been an overall great experience. I really like love to just make videos to cre create for a living, you know, and I, I feel like uh, this is a great like head start, a great motivator to pursue that. Uh, anybody that wants to like, that loves like video or like just creating or whatever, like it's a perfect class for them. I highly recommend it. Mr. Leano taught us like really like well about like lights and stuff and audio. So I used it in my, I used audio like the little boom mics, my latest uh, like PSA project for that. The majority of the difference between a professional and an amateur is the amount of work that you put into what you do. That is what the class is about. It's about doing the work, doing the job, and having the discipline to actually complete it. So every single time that the kids have completed the project, I commend them, I congratulate them, no matter how small the project was, because it takes time, it takes effort, and it takes a lot of discipline to do it. You start the, having the foundation young and early so that you can do great things in the future. Stay tuned for us to highlight another program in our next video. Till then, I'm Tom Denton reporting for Edinburgh CISD, your district of choice. The JROTC students at Edinburgh High have a brand new obstacle course, so we stopped by to have a look at the new upgrades. I'm a steamroller, baby. I'm a steamroller, baby. And I'm rolling on down the line. 
This obstacle course provides a lot more than just upper body strength and balance. It really gives the students an opportunity to lead. And in order to lead, they have to learn how to follow. And so having an obstacle course, the students that are leading are working on their communication skills. They're learning how to problem solve. They're learning how to build the team. Those that are following are also learning so that eventually they will be the leaders. It's really awesome, like just being out here and with the team especially, just like cooperating with them, communicating with them and just motivating each other is just really the best experience overall, like just being with them. Um, I think it's great. I think it's a good addition to the JROTC Battalion because Previously, we didn't have many things, many options to train on, but this is definitely an opportunity for us to grow as a team. It's definitely an opportunity for us to show that we can do whatever we can set our mind to. Teaching obstacles, they are Army standard, and so we just ask for some modifications to make them a little bit more age appropriate. Monkey bars, rope bridge, uh, walls, we have inverted walls, tough nut, balancing beams, low crawl areas, a 15-foot rope. We are the first school to have the entire project completed and uh, we felt it was really necessary and a great thing for our kids, not only for them to compete physically, but also our enrollment for our JROTC program has just, you know, significantly increased. The kids really like it. Um, they take great pride, you know, in participating and competing. Uh, for me personally, it's opened a lot of doors. It's taught me leadership, it's taught me responsibility, it's taught me how to be a better person, communicator. Like, anytime I have the chance, I will always tell kid, new kids to come into JROTC because not only is this program like so beneficial towards like a team, but it's like, individuals. Like me, in my freshman year, I was very timid, never talked, but my self-esteem gradually came up because of this program. My confidence is just off the roof. A big congratulations to the JROTC Bobcat Battalion for their upgrades, and we really look forward to seeing how they do in their upcoming competition. I'm Tom Denton, reporting for Edinburgh CISD, your district of choice. Just before spring break, the Edinburgh CISD IT department distributed new Dell laptops to all our campus staff. These laptops will allow our teachers to work more efficiently and effectively in the classroom. We are deploying new teacher laptops into some of the staff members as well. This is a district-wide initiative that Edinburgh CISD um, Information Technology is doing, and so we're very excited for that. Our teachers are very excited about getting a new laptop, a tool that is very essential for their instruction. This helps the teachers in presenting their lessons to the, the students. I am very techy in my classroom. I use it a lot. Um, I am still very cognizant of the use of technology. It is a 21st century skill that I strongly believe our students should know. I do a lot of hands-on learning in my classroom, but I also incorporate a lot of technology. The usage of the laptop and the reason why we're doing this is to make sure that students are ready for the online test in 2023. These new Dell uh, 5520 laptops are something that are much needed in the district. Teachers are very excited and we listen to the sounds of our teachers and staff. The hands-on digital tools helps them. They like it. I want to say huge shout out to all of you. I know it's a big endeavor. I know there's a lot of us, um, but I, I know that teachers like myself will utilize it to the max. Um, I want to thank all of you for thinking of us. Um, I've had my dinosaur laptop at home for a while. Now it's time to replace it. IT department, the district, and all the specialists that, that I know push for it as well. I know we all are thinking the same thing. 21st century skills, technology, computer savvy children will get better jobs in the future. And I think that's our goal for all of us. We, along with the teachers and staff, appreciate this technological upgrade, which will undoubtedly improve the learning environments for our children. We'd also like to thank the Edinburgh CISD IT department for their hard work and efficiency distributing the laptops to the campus staff. I'm Tom Denton, reporting for Edinburgh CISD, your district of choice.